Hello and welcome to this video for Boy Girl Boy Designs. In this video I'm going to be featuring products that I made for my children's birthday party. I made treat boxes, juice mix packets, and then a test tube full of treats for the kids. In today's video we're going to focus on the test tube treat. So let's get started. I have a test tube treat filled with special Easter jelly beans and then the cork stopper. We're going to use Coast to Cloco cardstock punched with the 1 and 3 8 circle punch. We are also going to use a piece of Daffodil Delight with the, lar with the smaller scallop circle punch. Now for our main image, we are going to use the cupcake stamp from the Got Treat stamp set with a piece of Whisper White. We're going to color the cupcake portion with a Melon Mambo marker. Next we're going to huff on our stamp and stamp your image out. Next we're going to take our one and a quarter inch circle punch punch up out our cupcake. Wave it to dry a little bit. Now if you're more careful and if you go slower you can get the image, a very clear image on the bottom of the cupcake but for time's sake I'm going to go a little fast. We're going to use snail and apply our cupcake circle to our early espresso circle. Then onto our Daffodil Delight scallop. I also used some of the quarter inch Whisper White ribbon and I just tie it around the test tube. Alright, now for our main image. We're going to use the Got Birthday stamp, the cupcake again and our basic black ink pad and we're going to focus on getting ink mainly on the words and then when you go to stamp leave room to the right or excuse me leave room to the left for the brad to be able to go in so we're going to stamp our image using the word window punch line it up the space on the back. Next we're going to use our matte stack and our pa paper piercing tool and we're going to poke a hole in the top of the cupcake. And also in our got birthday. We're going to take a brad, put it through the top of the cupcake and through our got birthday and hang it out to the side and then I like to use my paper piercing tool to open my brad as those brads are very sharp and like to poke me. Then I just use the paper piercing tool to fold it down. So now we have our main image. We're going to take two stamping dimensionals and put them on the back at the top and one at the bottom. We're going to put it on our treat basket, on our test tube, excuse me, with the dimensionals going up and down. And then once it's on, you can move your bow to where you like it to be. So that is how I made the test tube for my birthday treats for my children's gift bags. Stay tuned to the next video to see what I also made. 